Seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness. And all these things shall be added unto you. Looking for that blessed hope and glorious appearance of our great God and Savior Jesus Christ. For the Lord is truly my shepherd, and I shall not want. As we prepare now for worship, let us all come to order. As we worship the King of Kings, the Lord of Lords, God our Father, maker of heaven and earth, supreme ruler of all, just God, eternal God, our Father. God, we come into your house now, God, in humble submission as we commemorate this day of holy communion of the blood and body of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, God. God, humble us, God. Let us examine ourselves to see if there's anything that we want you to take out of us, anything you want to make straight, anything you want to do to us, God, that we may be better disciples. Yeah, Father, let us judge ourselves today first. For truly, God, we come out to worship you in the beauty of holiness. Yeah, yeah. Bless our pastor. Bless Reverend Mayran today as she brings the word. Bless Dr. Plowden, Father. Bless each and every one of us, God. God, we thank you. For Father, if we had 10,000 tongues, God, we cannot thank you enough. In the name that's above every name, let the church say amen. amen. Come on, let the church say amen this morning. Amen. Say one more time, amen. amen.
have it. Make a joyful noise unto the Lord. Make a joyful noise unto the Lord. All ye lands. All ye lands. Serve the Lord. Serve the Lord. With gladness. With gladness. Come before. Come before. His presence. His presence. With singing. With singing. Know ye that. Know ye that. The Lord, he is God. The Lord, he is God. It is he. It is he. That has made us. And not we, and not we ourselves. ourselves. We are his people, are his people and, the sheep and the sheep of his pastor. Of his pastor. Enter into, Enter into his, gates his gates with thanksgiving, with thanksgiving and into and his courts court with, with praise. Be thankful, Be thankful unto him, unto him. And bless, his name. and bless his name. For the Lord is good. The Lord is good. His, mercy his mercy is everlasting. Is everlasting. And his truth, truth endureth endure to all, to all generations. generations. Amen. Amen. Come on, somebody give the Lord a hand. <laughs> and clap a praise today. <laughs> As uh, Minister Plow can give us our altar prayer this morning. There's a Honda Accord, blue Honda Accord parked in front of the 99 cent store around the corner. We're blocking someone in. Let us all prepare for altar prayer.
by the Lord Jesus the Christ. I'm not sorry about it. I'm kind of glad about it. Amen. Amen. God is good. Uh, to the ministry, Chairman Deacon Robinson, to the trustee ministry, Deacon Staff. I call you Deacon, my brother. Down in Richburg, amen. Yeah. In the future, I don't know. <laughs> amen. And two, you, my colleagues in ministry, I oftentimes say that uh, these two people here, including myself, there's a special synergy that flows between us. That's right. Amen. Yeah. And I like that because like so many places I go, Ministers are arguing and bickering among themselves yeah. about who knows this and who knows what. But we don't do that. We share what That's we know right. with each other. Amen. 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 So that we all can be effective in ministry. Right. Amen. Amen. It ain't no big eyes and little you. Nice. We all are equal under God's eyesight. And when we get to heaven, there's no big C and little C. Nice. We all go hope we get a seat. Amen. Amen. Because we all are servants. Yeah. Hallelujah. So to you, my fellow brothers and sisters in Christ Jesus, I greet you with Jesus' joy on this great, great morning. There's a word from the Lord, and it's found in the book of Matthew, the 25th chapter, and round about that 14th verse. Amen. If it's your custom to stand, it's our custom in Bethany Baptist Church yes. to stand yes. when the word of God is read. Amen. Yes. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. So, uh, <clears throat> That's Matthew, the 25th chapter, uh -huh. beginning at the 14th verse. Bear with me as I read. Don't ask me to look at you because I've got to focus on the reading. Amen? <laughs> <laughs> For the kingdom of heaven is as a man yeah. traveling into a far country, far country who called his own servants mm. and delivered unto them his goods. Right. And unto one he gave five talents, All right. and to another two, yeah. and to another one. Yeah. To every man according to yeah. his several ability, yeah. and straightway took his journey. Mm -hmm. Then he that had received the five thousand yeah. went and traded with the same and made them uh, other five talents. Yeah. Yeah. And likewise, hmm. he that had received two, uh -huh. he also gained two. Yeah. But he that had received one yeah. oh. went and dig a dig in the earth. In other words, he dug a hole in the earth. Uh -huh. yeah. And he hid his Lord's money. All right. Right. And a long time the Lord. the Lord of those servants cometh and reckoned with them. Yeah. And, and so he that had received five talents came and brought others five talents, saying, yeah. Lord, thou delivered unto me five. Yeah. Behold, I have gained beside them five yeah. talents. Yeah. All right. His Lord said, well done. That's right. You are no longer going to be a servant. Now you're going to be a ruler. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Skip it on down to this 22nd verse. Mm -hmm. He also that had received two talents, did likewise. Mm -hmm. yeah. And he made him a ruler. He was no longer a servant. Mm -hmm. That's right. But his Lord said unto him, down to the 24th verse, then he which had received the one talent That's the came one. and said, Lord, That's the one. I knew thee was a hard <laughs> man. <laughs> Reap it where you sow not. Yeah. Sown and gathering where thou hast not. Straw. And that straw means you have planted. <clears throat> he had, he, his Lord answered and said unto him, yeah. Thou wicked and slothful servant, thou knewest that I reap where I sow not, and 
together where I didn't plant. Thou ought to have therefore put my money in a bank and let it draw some interest so I can have something extra when I return. Hallelujah. You may be seated, hallelujah. Oh, yeah. You may be seated. Hallelujah. Oh, bless you. Topic for this morning message is using the gift. Uh, that God has given you. Yeah. I'm going to repeat that again. Using the gift yeah. that God yeah. has given you. Yeah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. God, our Father, is once again that you have allowed your servant to stand behind this sacred gift. Yeah. Oh, Father, we don't take our job lightly, oh God. But we ask in the name of Jesus that you remove the oven out of the way, yeah. that your Holy Spirit will speak your oracles this day, yeah. that your people will find something in this message yeah. that will stir them, that will move them, Lord. that will encourage them to continue to work in the kingdom as God has so fit, giving them gifts yeah. to work with, oh God. Yeah. And then, Father, when it's all over, we can all hear him say, well done, thy good and faithful service. Yes. Come on up, I'm going to make you ruler. Oh, my God, in the name of Jesus, we pray. Name, Let the word in my mouth, the meditation of my heart, heart, be acceptable in thy sight, O oh Lord, my strength and my redeemer. Yes. In Jesus' name, yes. amen. 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 Using the gift yes. that God yes. has given you. So many times we look at each other yeah. and we see other gifts. Yeah. And instead of cooling our own gift, we get in there and we want to do what so and so do. And God has not called you to do what so and so do. He calls you to do what He has ordered you to do. Okay. Hallelujah. Oh, bless your name. Thank you, Jesus. Yeah. Well, uh, the book of Matthew was written between A.D. 60 and 65. Yeah. Matthew was a tax collector. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. He didn't want to be a Levite no more because yeah. he was part of the Levitical tribe. Hallelujah. Yeah. And so he forfeited his trade as the Levite, uh, Levite priesthood yeah. to become a tax collector. Yeah. And if you have studied in our Sunday school lesson, some time ago we had all of this written out. Matthew left and decided to take on collecting tax. And you know, uh, tax collector was the lowest thing on God's total pole. Right. But I'm so glad that Jesus didn't think so. Yeah. Because when he saw old Matthew sitting at the table, he yeah. told him, follow me. And Matthew left the taxes yeah. and came on and followed Jesus yeah. and became one of Jesus' disciples. Yeah. And so Matthew writes, yeah. he just don't write to anybody, no, but yeah. he writes to the Jews. Yeah. He wants the Jews to understand yeah. that Jesus is the Messiah. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. Oh, Bless your name. Bless you. Hallelujah. The key verse in this particular passage yes. is do not, in the book of Matthew, is do not think yeah. that I come to abolish the law That's of right. the prophet. Yeah. I come not to abolish them, yeah. but to fulfill them. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. Oh, bless your name. Yeah. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Yeah. And so as I dive into this text, yeah. uh, this text lets us know that whatever gift God has given you, you are to use that to the glory of God. He didn't give you your gift just for you to sit around on the stool and do nothing and look and watch what you're doing. He gave it to you to go out into the heavens and highway and compel them to come. Oh, he wants us to know that is work yeah. in the kingdom. Yeah. There's work, work for you yeah. and there's work for me. Yeah. I'm so glad that he called me. Yeah. I'm so glad yeah. that he anointed me. Yeah. I'm so glad yeah. that I don't have to worry yeah. because yeah. I'm doing what God has called me to do. Yeah. Oh, bless your name. Yeah. Thank you, Jesus. Yeah. Oh, hallelujah. Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you. Well, uh, in this 
particular passage, yes, yes. there are three things that Jesus was trying to convey to his disciples. Yeah. In chapter 24, yeah. they had been walking through Jerusalem, yeah, yeah, yeah. and there they came upon the temple, and they began to say, uh, look at the temple, and, he, and they wanted Jesus to come and see the different aspects. And so when they got to where Jesus could talk to them, he said, look at here, boys. Not one of these stones will be left. Hallelujah. This is the physical temple. Ah, yeah. uh, but in that day yeah. that you begin to see all these things come to pass, I yeah. uh, know that your time yeah. is drawing nigh. Right. This is not it. So in chapter 24, yeah. he tells them the out of it this code. Right. And it moves on to chapter 25. Yeah. And there are three things yeah. that I want to bring out okay. from this passage of scripture. Yeah. It lets us know. Fuck out. 
college, but he knew that he would work college. Yeah. Oh, yeah, he made her. Instead of having $2,000 to lay before the master fee, he had $4,000 when he come back, hallelujah. Well, I want to get to the last guy, hallelujah. And that's where my message is going to center around. This last guy that took the man money, just like sometimes we do. I will come to mama, borrow some money. And mama so sweetly give it to us. She goes in her little secret place and she gives the money to us. And we squander the money out and we he come back and mama says, son, dog, what did you do with it? Well, I, 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 we can't tell her what she did with it. Hallelujah, because we done squander it. And just like the man that had the one, he dug a hole. Dug a hole and put it in the earth. Now, I never known the earth to produce any money except you plant a seed in the earth. It'll produce. Hallelujah. But when, what, what this pericope is talking about is really talking about how when God has given us duties, jobs to do, we are to work diligently with what he has given us to do. Not to what Bishop Hargrove is doing. No! That's what he God gave him to do. Amen. And not what Sister Deborah is doing. God gave her what she needs to do. Hallelujah. But you got to work diligently for yourself. Hallelujah. I'm so glad that God knows who we are. Or oh, we can sit and with our own soul and we can cross our legs and look all And if you ain't working for the Lord, you still ain't doing nothing. Hallelujah. God wants us to propagate his word. He wants us to tell somebody that Jesus is the one. He is the way maker. He's the one that died on one Friday. He's the one that got up early Sunday morning. He's the one oh, that is coming back again. And he's coming back. Looking for a church uh, without spot or wrinkle. I don't know about you, but my Bible tells me I am the work, 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 work till the day is done. Hallelujah. I'm going to make this message short. Now, if you want to get the rest of it, come on back on the fifth Sunday, and I will give you the rest of this message. Hallelujah. Oh, bless your name. Because I believe we have communion today, and I don't want to hold you long. Hallelujah. I don't want you going to pastor and tell her that Mary has to be so long. I was hungry. I was tired. And I got sleepy.
Take a ride if you will. Go into your pockets. We got a great street work today.